Hey guys, what's up? It's Eli Knight with Knight Jiu Jitsu, and I'm wearing this jacket today sponsored by the Budo Brothers. And my boy JD like put me on to what they were doing and told me what they were kind of about. And so we were thinking, well, you know, what can we do to kind of give them a shout out? And they sent over some cool stuff. People talk about using gi techniques or kind of academy or dojo techniques in the street. And so we tend to think about if I'm gonna use a clothing choke, how can I use the person's clothing against them? But since this jacket was so cool, I thought I would look at it a little differently and say, well, how can I use my own material against the person in a fight? So we're gonna show a couple of different chokes specifically today about how we can maybe use this kind of material that I'm wearing so it's not contingent on what the other guy has on and then how can we turn it into a choke in a self-defense situation. So these are gonna be some good things, guys. Check it out. So let's break this technique down a little bit and see what's happening. This is a kind of a street application of a guillotine choke and how we can kind of follow up with that. We showed it early. We have a little clip of us training it, how we would do it in the gi. But in this one here, if I'm going to apply it to a gi, no gi, whatever kind of situation, I'm going to use my own clothing to help assist this. When he goes to swing at me here, oh, I kind of block out some kind of way. We wind up in this clinch. This may have been whatever kind of scuffle. We're just going off of a punch right now. From here, once we're in this over under, I'm going to use my shoulder to bump, boom, here and try to hit him. That's going to knock his head back. I'm going to slide up tuck his head down like this under the arm and then here's how I'm using the clothing to help enhance this I'm using this like a zip tie so what's happening I'm grabbing and sliding this up this makes it really strong now I can finish this choke with one hand so after that here the thing I'm worried about maybe is him blocking or hitting or grabbing or whatever with this arm so I block it initially but then I want to finish from a stronger position so I'm gonna scoop underneath this way I'm gonna half circle step back my outside leg take him down here this way land on top and then from there, I'm pulling here, taking the shoulder away from the choke. That's making it even tighter. And I'm going to go till the guy's asleep. I'm safe to get up and out.